Suddenly, Congresswoman Ilhan Omar of Minnesota is a national star in the media and in the Democratic Party. She is held up as a physical representation of why our immigration system works so well, because people like her come. Not because she likes this country. She doesn't. Clearly, she despises America and says it all the time. She routinely attacks this nation as racist, hateful, alienating. Living here, she says, is, quote, an everyday assault. Sometimes, she says, it's probably better in a refugee camp in Kenya. She would know because she lived in a refugee camp in Kenya until America took her in and her family purely out of altruism. So let that sink in for a second. Omar lives in this country because our country saw her suffering and generously welcomed her, as we have millions of people through our history. Since then, she has thrived. She's been elected to our national lawmaking body. Despite that, in a recent speech, she said that Muslims are second-class citizens in America, this racist country. They've been oppressed, she said, because on 9-11, quote, some people did something. A lot of people were upset by that. Some people did something. And the Civil War was a dispute over American labor laws. Yeah, okay, please. But quickly, the left rallied around Omar. Their message was clear. She isn't simply right on the specifics. If you criticize her at all, the problem is you. You're a bigot. Watch. This is just pure racist act by many of those, hateful acts by those, because she does speak truth when it talks about different issues that they don't disagree with. And I'm really outraged because as a person that has gotten direct th death threats myself, I know that her life is put in more danger. And I see her not just as my sister, Ilhan Omar, as a colleague, but I see her as a mother of three. TV host Stephen Colbert, who's, God, he's become such a buffoon, said basically the same thing. If you don't like congresswomen who bash this country, you are the real problem. You're a racist. You hate Muslims or women or whatever. Here it is. Well, there are many um, members of our community that their identities are a lightning rod, right? They're, they've become, they're being used as political football. We are talking about immigrants, you're talking about refugees, women of color, people of color, minorities. Uh, and I just happen to Muslims have... Muslims specifically. Muslims specifically. And I just ha happen to embody all of those identities. Mm -hmm. And so it's easy for, for this to kind of be self-explanatory. Yeah. That's what's going on. But not surprisingly, the farthest out claim came from young pioneer Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Criticizing Congresswoman Omar, she says, is a de facto death threat. We are getting to the level where, the, where this is an incitement of violence against progressive women of color. And if they can't figure out how to get it back to policy, we need to call it out for what it is, because this is not normal. Hard to know how seriously to take that person. Uh, but other people do take her seriously, so it's, it's worth noting that in her world, and really on, broadly on the left right now, disagreeing with someone is violence. It's not normal. A terrorist attack that murders 3,000, that's just some people doing something. 